Hey everyone, welcome to Judo Highlights. We're going to look at one of the legends today, Ibinuma Masashi from Japan, two times Olympic medalist and two times world champion. So he just retired recently and we're going to have a look at his highlights, his techniques. And he's got a lot of variety, lots of seoi nages, uchimata. You don't see many people mixing uchimata and seoi nage. And obviously he's got a great ochigari as well. Anyway, just a couple of clips from the London Olympics. As you know, it's difficult to get footage from the Olympics, which is a bit sad recently. They should really let us share as much judo as possible. So here's that ochigari I was talking about. He likes to mix it up with a uchimata. But here's a big oguruma to win the bronze medal. So probably one of the biggest highlights of his career. I'm not sure, you know, what he himself feels, you know, winning the world championships as a gold medalist or getting bronze at the Olympics. I'm not sure. Anyway, so this is his first world championships, Rio 2013, and a nice Kochimaki Komi here. He's got a strange way of doing it, but yeah, and he, he's got this, what I like to call a running Seoi Nage. And then he really faced some adversity heading on into the final, or sorry, at the final, at the, the Rio World Championships. His opponent jumps on his arm here. And this is Waki Katame, so from my opinion, it's it's not illegal, but because Eminem is not, not tapping, they didn't end the contest. Uh, I'm not quite sure what happened, but they did go to the video and obviously his, his arm is kind of destroyed, but he ends up pulling this beautiful kind of Ochi Uchimada kind of hybrid throw. Uh, it's a really good one, you know, you're not quite sure which direction. Uh, or your opponent's not really sure which direction you're going to go, but he's psyched about that. First World Championship with gold, goes through a bit of adversity. And as World Champion in 2014, Ends up doing it again. And in the finals here as well, you know, he does something pretty special. It's a, it's a technique I looked at for hours on the end. This one here, such a beautiful Uchimata. It's kind of more of a hip throw than a leg throw, but throws Pulaev over with ease. Perfect entry, perfect grips, perfect timing. Into attack. Moving on, the Olympics, can't find just the one clip time. here, but says less than one minute now. yeah, losing out to Arn, oh, and then getting this throw for the bronze medal, but I wouldn't be disappointed with the bronze medal at the Olympics, come on, the Japanese are too hard on themselves. Anyway, from here on out, we're just going to look at a bunch of uh, highlights, talk about his techniques, but as I said, double world champion and two-time Olympic medalist. Uh, definitely a legend in my books. Beautiful Nippon Seoinagi here. And one thing that I really like about Ebinuma, as he gets this nice Ashibarai, is he's really good with his shoulders. You'll see him like kind of pop his shoulders in and out of grips. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but especially when he's left or right. Look at this 32-pound cushion. It's just... Gets a wazari, but... Crazy, right? And a big Ippon Seoinagi here. Yeah, he's very technical. Very smooth. Uses a lot of movement. Not a lot of strength, so... Definitely the perfect judoka. If there is one. And very athletic as well, you know? He's always spinning around on his head. Somehow avoiding a penalty at the same time, but... Um, yeah, this is kind of what I mean about the popping out of the shoulders. Um, like Ochigari here. It's almost like it, Ochigari is his tokui waza, mixing out with the, the Uchimata. But I was surprised, a lot of Ochigari uh, scores. Mate was called, but that was super fast. So here we see it again, popping out that shoulder. As they go over the top, he like pops his shoulder in and up, so the hand, his, their opponent's hand goes from over the top, 
you know, an overhand grip to around the back. And it gives him a lot more movement. There's that weird push make coming I was talking about. Obviously, you can't grab the legs these days, so I guess an Ippon Seoinaga grip is one way to do it. A strong Ippon Seoinaga there. Anyway, uh, Ibinuma moving up from 66. I guess maybe the weight cut was too much, or uh, dealing with Abe was too much. Or even at 73, he had Ono. Oh, here's that shoulder pop. See how his shoulder's above his opponent's hand? Yeah, and it really makes going in for that technique so much easier. Nice yeah! Uranaga here. Is it Tani Otoshi? Sorry. Sorry. And this is against Arm, right? So he would lose a few years later at the Olympics to him. Nice rivalry there, I guess. Morote Sironega this time. And Ibinuma, he's a he's a traditional judo player. He's he's got techniques all on this left side, but he might do you know an opposite side Sironega, but that's very common. You know, apart from that, he, he's not like Bobanov, he's not doing the same techniques on both sides. Um, but yeah, a real specialist, a real traditional Japanese judoka. Roll over here. Enough to score. More of this one again. And he's got some pretty savage Nawaza as well. So check this out, goes in for that Ochigari that he loves, brings it to the ground, a quick spin over and then he uses the legs to kind of, I don't know, squeeze the air out of him, uh, but the Russian was almost kind of semi out, falls on top of him. So as I said early on in the video, you don't really see Seiwain again and Uchimata specialist, but here he is kind of combining the two, even though the mate was called, goes in for that Uchimata kind of Ochi combination and then dropping down for a Seoinage. So it's a real nice combination. But I do understand that it's difficult to be a technician of both Uchimata and Seoinage. It's kind of a the kind of techniques for two different types of two different body types, right? So you don't see it too often. Another bit of Nawaza here, this time on Hashimoto. And Hashimoto did say that he looks up to Ibinuma a lot and I think it was difficult to compete against Ibinuma for Hashimoto. And that running Seiwainage that I was talking about. Really good way to, if you are competing in Judo, to learn how to do this. Because you're never going to throw them flat on their back every time. Another great competition move here the Uchimata isn't it Uchimata Skushi when you roll them over like that I'm not sure oh, picking them up going in for Uchimata now I wouldn't say this might be a bit harsh but Ebi Numa might not be a, an Ikpon specialist he's the kind of guy who will get two wazaris on you and I think he had a, a much harder time when they were Hawker and he's throwing people three or four times and still having to just run down the clock. But at 73, he, you know, he had a great, great career there. Going into the Ippon Seoinage. Turns it into a Kochimaki Komi. Really steps in with that. I like that. Around the back, going into the Uchimata. Locking up top position, getting a wazari, popping that shoulder out, jumping in for an Ichimata. Anyway guys, last Ippon here, a little bit of Newaza, nice bow and arrow choke, as world champion at 66 kgs. But yeah, Ibinuma, thanks a lot, you taught me a lot. Legend.